Hello everyone, this is a, a demo video of a motorcycle garage opener. So what I'm going to do is I pulled the GitHub that I made and then I'm going to use Python to run the main program and then it'll pop up like this actually for for the uh, direction purpose I'm gonna move to the actual uh, folder and do it like this so in the in the uh, main app I have files and tools for all the um, tools that you could use and on the right side you have a numbered um, order of uh, I would say uh, functions that you could follow and then on the left side it will display the predicted image that you chose so first of all download sample data will simply download a um, example data of the flower data set from tensorflow and then load a model will uh, let you load a model that is pre-built then download images from google will uh, download images based on uh, what kind of a, an object you want to find so here I downloaded some of the uh, examples and adventure bikes cruiser bikes for the bike detection but this is an example where I downloaded a toad and then obviously before using it as a pure data set you have to get rid of images like this where it um, apparently has a toad looking woman so there's one thing to be wary of and here in the tools section you can convert the mp4 to pngs so it'll ask you to f select a uh, mp4 file and then you are then gonna select a pn or uh, directory to download and store all the converted png files so if you go to my uh, example i have these mp4 files that will be a recording of the device then it'll be converted into images like this of PNGs and these two are going to be for the future uh, features um, in case of um, an additional feature of object detection and XML files can be uh, trend, uh, converted into a CSV or YOLO text label so you could uh, try out different uh, uh, different models of the uh, object detection so now we're gonna move on to the main uh, category here number one is to select a data set so if you click that button then it's gonna show this uh, directory locator and I'm gonna go to my directory of motorcycle and here you could see that it has pass and fail what is inside is um, all of the um, all of the images of the bikes that uh, is uh, specific to open up the garage and then the rest of the rest of the scenarios with different bikes or car or uh, more uh, bicycle will be in the fail classification so once you locate there you select the folder 
then um, it'll uh, select the data set and then it'll uh, split them into training and validation sets so you can see that 280 files are there and we're only using 224 uh, for training and then the rest will be validation and then here you can see that um, you can see the two classes and next once it's done you go to configuration for performance it's just um, for the auto tune the number three create compile a model what this will do is going to be uh, creating and compiling a model that you specify so it's going to be uh, asking you the number of classes which would be two and then here it shows the architecture of the custom cnn which has sequential and rescaling layer to um, kind of help with the overfitting and it has three convolutional layers and max pooling followed by it and then uh, flattened layer and fully connected layer once your model is created you can train the model and then i'm gonna set the epoch to 20 and then now it's gonna train um, the model with uh, epoch i'm using um, amd uh, rx uh, 560 for the graphics card but for the CUDA support I am using uh, NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti and then the um, uh, the CPU would be AMD Ryzen 3600 so you can see that um, it shows 21 seconds of the, the total epoch training time and then it will show you the loss accuracy of the validation and the test set. It will take a long time. Alright, it looks like it is wrapping up. And once it's wrapped up, uh, it'll show you the training and validation accuracy. And you can see that uh, it kind of looks like an ideal training and validation graph. And then here, you'll see uh, random nine. Uh, photos are tested to make sure and then here you can see that all my uh, my own motorcycles passed but the rest failed which is good and once you do that you can see that it took 371 minutes or one second to train the model which sounds about right and you can even predict the image. I'm gonna predict the image that I have prepared here. So here, you can see that it'll pass with a 100% uh, confidence. And then frame 56, it also passes, even though if it's uh, it's the night, uh, daytime and the nighttime. And now I'm gonna use uh, mobile nets. Then it it's building a base model, and then I'm gonna wait. And you can see that the mobile net is here. And then I'm gonna use this to train for 20 epoch, 
again. Alright, it looks like it's wrapping up and we'll compare um, how this model is to uh, the custom model. Alright, so it looks like it takes a less epoch to reach almost a uh, hundred percent of the accuracy and then but the loss is uh, pretty um, uh, exponentially and it took a little bit longer to train the model and then let's try to predict the model Alright, so it looks like it's having on it uh, having a difficulty. So it might have to uh, be resets and redone. And let me just try a different photos. So yeah, it sometimes does this where it just fail only for a hundred percent so as you can see um, it's not so reliable f to use uh, the mobile net as well as uh, there is a bug about this where yeah, if you load a model within one uh, initial run of the program, then it doesn't really predict it and predict and train well. So I'm gonna have to work on that. But uh, you saw that the, the the convolutional the custom model worked very well. So that was the demo, and thanks for watching.